ga wasu daga cikin kanan labaran da za a ji sojojin Gabon sun sanar da jiyon mulki bayan soke sakamakon zabe da suka yi kasar Algeria ta yi ta yin samar da gwamnatin rukunkuriya ta watanni shida a Niger domin kawo ƙarshe rikicin siyasar kasar wani bincike ya nuna yadda gurba cewar yanayi ke ci gaba da illa ga lafiyar biladama to ga labaran B da B dandazon wasu sojojin Gabon da suka bayyana a gidan talabijin mallakin kasar na Gabon 24 sun sanar da kwace iko daga gwamnati mai wato mai cire ta da tare da rushe sakamakon zabe da aka bayyana Ali Gumbo a Ali Bongo Odimba a matsayin wanda ya lashe kai tsaye muna tare da Azima Bashir Aminu da karin bayani to kafin sanarwar sojojin bayanai sun bayyana cewa an rika wato an shafi sa'u i ana jiyo karar harbin bindiga a sassan Libreville babban birnin kasar ko da yake babu tabbacin ko mu sayar wuta ce ko kuwa kawai sojojin na harbin iska ne guda cikin sojojin su akalla shabi wanda ya gabatar da jawabi ya sanar da rushe dukkanin sassan gwamnati cike har da majalisun dokoki da kuma kotun kundin tsarin mulki a cewar sojojin wanda ba akai ga bayyana sunan sa ba san basu gamsu da yadda zaben kasar ya gudana ba dalilin da yasan ya su rushe shi tare da daura a zamar kawo karshen tarnakin da kasar ke fuskanta dan barwa ta kauri a gaban ne tun bayan kamala wato tun bayan fitar da sakamakon zabi wanda ya kai ga kasi internet da kuma sanya dokar hana fita lambaran da bangaren adawa ya kira da yunkurin tafka magudi sosai to muna godiya Azima Bashir Aminu to madalla to babbar jam'iyyar adawa a kasar Zimbabwe kuwa ta yi kira ne da a sake gudanar da zabe sakamakon wato wanda dan takaranta na shugaban kasa ya sha kai a hannun shugaba mai ci Emerson Mnangagwa a zaben da ta yi zargin cewa an tafka kura kure a, a wannan zabe jam'iyyar ta CCC ta bukaci kungiyar tarayyar Afrika da EU da takurata ta kasashen kudancin Afrika da su taimaka wajen sasan tarkicin da ya biyo bayan babban zaben Zimbabwe na ranar Larabar da ta gabata wanda munangwagwa mai shekaru 80 ya lashe zaben a wa'adi na biyu da sama da kashi 52 na kuri'un da aka kada yayin da Nelson Shamisa na jam'iyyar CCC mai shekaru 45 ya samu kashi 44 to majalisar dinkin duniya tace akalla mutane 383 ne aka kashe tun daga watan yuli a fadan da ya barke a yankin Anhara na kasar Habasha yayin da ta sabanta kira da a kawo ƙarshen rikicin wato tashin hankali da kuma kare hakim bil adama Labaran na zuwa muku ne daga sashin Hausa na Radio France International. Majalisar dinkin duniya ta bukaci kungiyar ECOWAS da ta sasso ta takunkuman da aka kakabawa Niger wanda ta hada da rufe kan iyakokin kasar. Rufe iyakokin Niger da ya haifar da matsalar wato kasa kasa shigar da kayan agaji da kuma tura al'umma kasar saboda irin matsanancin hali da suka samu kansu da suka samu kansu kenan a ciki wanda ya haddasa karancin abinci da sauran kayan masu rufi. Nasuru Saniya hada mana rahoto Majalisar dinkin duniya ta bayyana cewa rufe kan iyakokin wadda wani harshe ne cikin takunkuman da aka kaka bawa Niger ya zafi fa yanayin zamantakewar al'umma ta bangarori da dama ciki har da gudanar da ayyukan jinkai yanzu aka akwai tarin manyan motocin daukar kaya dauke da kayan abinci da sauran kayan agaji da ke makalan kan iyakokin kasar ta Niger da suka gagara shiga wanda a sanadiyar haka ne ya sa majalisar dinkin duniya ta tura sakon bukatar sassauci domin samun damar shigar da kayan agajin tun bayan juyin mulki da sojoji suka yi a 26 ga watan yuli lamarin da ya haddasa tashin goran zaben farashin abinci wadda ke nuni da munin tasirin takunkumin ECOWAS ta dauki wannan mataki ne domin matsalan lamba na ganin gwamnatin mulkin sojin kasar ta Niger ta mayar da hambararren shugaban kasar Muhammad Bazum kan karagar mulki wakilin hukumar dake kula da ƴan gudun hijira ta majalisar dinkin duniya Emmanuel Gignac ya bayyana cewa kayan da matakin ya shafa mafi akasari kayan abinci ne da magani sai dai an nemi jin ta bakin kakakin kungiyar ta ECOWAS Emos Lungu kuma abin ya ci tura kasar Algeria ta kaddamar da shirin sasan tarkicin siyasar Niger sakamakon jiyon mulki da sojoji suka yi inda take bukatar samar da gwamnati dukkan kuriya na watanni shida a karkashin shugaban farar hula da zai shirya zabe ministan harkokin wajen kasar Ahmed Ataf ya sanar da haka bayan da ya ziyarci wasu kasashe dake yammacin Afrika 
domin samu maslaha kar rikicin da kuma kaucewa amfani da karfin soji da ECOWAS ke shirin yi Sopin yan tawayen Abdinawa dake arewacin Mali sun zargi sojojin kasar da kai musu hare-hare ta sama a yakin da suke yi lamarin da ke kara haifar da barazana a sakanin bangarorin biyu ka misali na dauke da cigaban labarin a zantawar da kakakin yan tawayen kungiyar Abdinawa yayi da kamfanin dillancin labaran Faransa AP ya ce sojojin Mali sun kai musu hare ne a Anafis dake yankin Kidal duk da dai bai bayyana irin barnar da harin yayi musu ba wani ya zababban dan siyasa daga yankin da ya nemi a saka ya sunan sa ya tabbatar da kai harin amma shi ma bai karan haske akai ba sojojin Mali dai sun yi amfani da kafofin sada zumunta wajen bayyana cewa harin da suka kai an kai shi ne kan gungun wasu yan ta'adda dake kokarin kaiwa fararan hula da sojoji hari a shekara 2012 ne aka samar da kungiyar yan tawayen Abzinawa wacce ta bazu zuwa kasashen Niger da Burkina Faso kafin a shekarar 2015 aka cin mai yarjejeniyar sulhu tsakanin su da gwamnatin Mali to wani bincike da jaridar Premium Times stay a Nigeria ya zargi jama'an committee majalisar wakilan Nigeria dake gudanar da bincike kan badakalar sayar da guraben ayyuka a ma'aikato da hukumomin gwamnati karbar maku dan kudade a matsayin toshiyar baki daga shugabannin ma'aikatun don gudun tona musu asiri daga badakalar da suke aikatawa to ne shugaban committee ya musanta zargin malam Nasir Kura na kungiyar yaki da cin hanci da rashawa a Nigeria yayi mana tsokaci akai Abone wanda banyi mamaki ba ba kuma wani abu bane shabo domin ta zu da wani shiri na gidan television na channels na gahirar da aka yi da shi shugaban wannan committee majalisa da ta kafa ya amsa cewa is possible kuma zai iya yuwa dukkan dai a level ne na zargi to amma mutun dai aka yi ba wai shugabancin ake ba domin so ake ta karfin tsaya sai an lalata wannan ban kadan da aka yi na nuna cewa ana samu wannan rashin adalci a wajen watan shugabanni na hukumomi da jami'an gwamnati suna yin abu na wanda ba kan ka'ida ba to wannan ba zai yi wa aikin committee illa ba a wannan sosai kuwa amma da me kamar inda shugaban committee ya fada mutun daya ne ake zargin yayi abubuwa na to na farko dai idan suka jajirce suka tabbatar da cewa an fitar da shi an ame shi daga cikin su an kuma yi wa tafiyar gyara sun yi bincike sun ko ba da rahoton da ya tace su bayar to idanillahi ta'ala za a abin zai haifi ta mai ido Nasir Sura kura kenan wato na kungiyar yaki da cin hanci da rashawa a Nigeria Radio France International to kamar yadda aka ji a kanan labaran wani sabon bincike ya nuna cewa gurba cewar yanayi na ci gaba da yin barazana ga lafiyar bil adama a sassan duniya musamman a nahiyoyin afrika da asiya da lamarin yafi kazancewa abdurrahman gambo ahmad ya hada mana rahoto akai ko da yake rahoton ya nuna cewa an samu ci gaba da ganar da rugur gurba cewar yanayi a china amma har yanzu wasu kasashen asiya da na afrika na kan gaba wajen fuskantar barazana da matsalar ke haifawa a cewar rahoton rahoton wanda cibiyar nazarin makamashi ta jami'ar Chicago ta fitar ya ce kasashe shida da suka hada da Bangladesh da India da Pakistan da China da Nigeria da Indonesia kadai na fama da kashi 193 na mummunan tasirin gurba cewar yanayi dake illa ga lafiyar jama'a rahoton ya ce muddin aka rage gurba ta yanayi da wani adadi da hukumar lafiya ta duniya da WHO ta bada shawara to lalle za a samu karin shekaru 233 kan shekarun da ake saran jama'a za su yi a rayuwar su wannan na nufin cewa za a samu karuwar jumlar shekaru biliyan 17.38 na jama'ar duniya idan aka tara adadin wuri guda a cewar rahoton ko da yake rahoton ya ce an fa samu ragur gurba cewar yanayi cikin shekaru 10 da suka gabata kuma China ce ta fi hukba sawa wajen yaki da matsalar amma a wasu kasashen duniya lamarin na ci gaba da rincabewa a daidai lokacin da China ta zagi dan tsaye domin yaki da matsalar a cewar rahoton Amurka ta sanar da sabon kunshin taimakon soji na dala miliyan 250 ga kasar Ukraine sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka Antony Blinken da ya sanar da hakan jiya talata yace kunshin ya hada da karin kayan aikin kwance na kiyoyi da makamai masu linzami na tsaron sama harsashe da manyan bindigogi da kuma harsashe miliyan uku na kananan makamai kai tsaye ne za mu je ga sharhin jaridu 
tare da shamsiya Haruna to Amadu Abba Barka da wannan lokaci wato kusan jaridu daga sassan duniya kama daga yammacin Turai Afirka a babban labarin da saka fi mayar da hankali a wannan safiya shine game da juyin mulkin Gabon da sojoji suka yi wanda hakan tabbaci ne na hanbarar kaga da shugaba Ali Bongo da aka ayyana a matsayin wanda ya lashe zabe na ranar Asabar to wato bango wanda ya hau kan karagar mulki bayan rasuwar mahaifinsa a shekara ta 2009 ya sake lashe zabe karo na uku a zaben da yan adawa suka ce an tafka magudi wato amada abba kafin wannan zabe ka san sai da aka yi kwaskwari ma ga kundin tsarin mulkin kasar domin a bashi dama ya sake tsayawa a karo na uku to kamfanin dalancin labaran faransa ya rawo wato cewa sojoji sun tabbatar da juyin mulkin a wata sanarwa da suka fitar ta gidan talabijin din kasar kuma kamar yadda kace jaridun sassan duniya abinda suka fi mayar da hankali kan wannan labari sun kuma tabo batun kungiyar ECOWAS da kungiyar tarayyar Afirka ta AU sun ki amincewa ka san da juyin mulkin da sojoji suka yi a jihar Niger wanda aka yi a watan jiya to kuma ga wannan abu ya fado kwatsam da sanyin safiya san ECOWAS ba ta da baki a wannan saboda wannan ne amma kungiyar tarayyar Afirka tana da baki a cikin duniya ma ai martani zai zo san yanzu dai ya zuwa yanzu to babu wani martani da aka samu daga ita ngiyar tarayyar Afirka da kuma wato ita wannan kasa kaga tana tsakiyar Afirka to su ma suna da kungiya ta su ta daban wato Igad ko kuma Igad kenan kungiyar tsakiyar Afirka ko kuma gabashi da tsakiya to amada abba duk da gargadin cewa nan ba da dadewa ba ruwa zai iya mamaye jihohin da ke makwabta ka da kogin binuwe a tarayyar Najeriya kenan saboda ambaliyar ruwa har yanzu ba a fara kwashe mazauna yankunan ba kamar yadda jaridar Daily Trust wato ta tabbatar san minister harkokin jinkai wato beta edu a wani tare mani ma labarai ta yi kira da ai gaggawar janye mutanen da suke wadannan yankuna da suke makwabtaka da kogin binuwe saboda a kaucewa a sarar rayuka da kuma in san wannan kogi aka ce akwai yarjejeniya da ya kamata su ma bangaren na ce da kafin domin idan aka sake su dan rike to a san yanzu ana ta rade radin cewa za a bude shi wannan ruwa kuma kaga ruwan aka bude shi aka bude ruwa a gojan sa yake fito wa ba wai a hankali yake zaba ba to bari mu je ga can kasar Pakistan wato jaridar Indian Times ce ta rawaito labarin da ke cewa wani rikakken zaki ya fice daga cikin wata mota inda ya nufi jama'a a birnin Karachi babban magana an dai kamo an da kyar aka kamo shi amma ka san shi wannan zaki ana tsakiyar cinkosan ababan hawa ga kuma jama'a ga zaki kai tsaye ka san dai ce lokaci yayi muna godiya to ina godiya amma da abba da zaji karin bayani a shirin mu na yamma eh haka to madalla Wani bincike ya banka doyan da komitin da majalisar wakilan Najeriya ta kafa don binciken badak ala sayar da guraben ayyukan yi a ma'aikatu da hukumomin gwamnati ke amfani da damar wajen karbar kudade a matsayin toshiyar baki daga wajen ma'aikatu don kar a fallasa su. Duk da cewa bangaren ƴan majalisar da ake wancan zargi sun karyata faruwan hakan, me kuke ganin ke haifar da matsalar sayar da guraben ayyukan gwamnati? Wadanna mataka ya kamata a dauka don toshe duk irin wadannan matsaloli da ake fama da su a kasashen Afirka sai ku aiko mana da ra'ayoyinku a lambar mu ta WhatsApp ko kuma shafin mu na Facebook. To madan la sai a tuntube mu ta hanyoyin da aka saba gashir mu na gaba. Kungiyar Briggs ta kasashe masu tasowa wadanda suka kunshi Brazil da Russia da India da China da kuma Africa ta kudu wanda aka kafa ta domin kalubalantar kaifin tafin azikin kasashen yammacin duniya ta amince da shigar da sabbin kasashe shida cikin ta a matsayin mambobi wato Saudiya da Iran da Habasha da Masar da Argentina kuma hadidar daular Arabawa menene wannan mataki ke nufi ga wadannan kasashe da kuma tafin azikin duniya a matsayin shin fuda professor Ibrahim Umara shehu ilimi a fannin hudar kasashe da kuma da baro jami'ar mai dubu da ke jihar Borno yayi mana karin bayani wato shi BRICS din manansa B ya tasha Brazil R Russia I India C China S South Africa shine BRICS din wannan kasashe biyar nan sun hadu suna so su rege yanda yammacin Turai da kuma Amurka sun hada guiwa suna manufilatin 
hada hadang kaya ki ga abubu wanda masana watu sune ke kawa wa wanda sunyi dominating global economic scene nang banda haka dollar shine foreign reserve wanda kasa she suka doke wanda amerika tana ampanida wanda dollar ten temusguna kasa shenda basu che mata namba da dollar ten da euro ten tuwe nan kasa shenda suna taso wa suna sosu chanja yenda yon manturei da kuma amerika suke yi soba da su chile wani mahanga na tataling arzi ki da siyasa ba tareda bing kaidang amerika damba kuma benda anda so kutusani shine shi chang asia ng akwe asian infrastructural uh, international development bank wanda china ya kao wanda harka sasha ye madun suna so su jesu zama mimba na chiki to abunda ake gani shine amerika ne da fada aji abayan sa turei Ture da Amerika sunga hadu sundana kasa shen dunia tafuskan tatana arzi kida kuma tatana tafuskan siyasa Russia kalifini na soja China tatashi wa tutaza takuna kaima Amerika umanda kanta Ga India tana bing China Ga kuma Brazil Ga South Africa Wena kasa shen bashaka zasu chanja harkanda Aka saba wanda anachamari yunifuola uo Toyanzu kasa shen wanda aka doke ng Sune da tateling arziki na masama abubu wanda ake ni mawanda ana cha mwazo strategic resources Kamar mai, kamar gas, na kuma mines Yanzu kamar a Afrika mu, ando ke Ethiopia, ando ke Egypt Kuma achang ando ke Argentina Kwa alatu na Amerika mada Argentina nda Brazil nka chile sauron wae Sana kuma aka sake tafia Middle East, aka doka United Arab Emirates aka doka Saudi Arabia aka doka Iran to ina mai din duka babu yanzu sun kawo mai da kuma gas da kuma kasuwanci Air Bricks ta kasance kan gaba wajen kalubalan tarin tsarin da duniya ke tafiya yanzu haka musamman ta fannin tattalin arziki ta yaya shigar wadannan sabbin kasashe zai dace da shirin su na tsara sabon tsarin tafiyar duniya Malam Bashir Muhammad Nadan Sine Bebekana Sayawun Kukiyar Sayam Machi Ida Zakiyar Afrika We wannan taro da aka gudanar a Johannesburg a Afrika ta kudu Manupanta dama iza wana chiwa mbriks taada da baya na kanta wa dunia nga baki daya Musamang ta sanar wa dunia chiwa ayan zita kaya mwata inda Zati ya rike ta taling arzik in dunia nga baki daya Da hati ngui wang kasa shi da bukata da siki bukata ng Wala kwa wadshi da daita Abunde isa ki nangkaga aka shigadda sabu mumbubi Wain nang kasa shi bayang anzawna anduba chikin watu Kasa shi sama da talatin da suka buka achi Suma a shigadda su chikin kungi ya rubriks Wain da aka za baki nang Amma ba wain wain chan kuma anya da suba ni aa Anda katad da suba ni du aha agaya tapi yanta kasan chido wain nang wadashida May aka samu ina kuma aka kasa Dwa aga yadda za aya kyo teta abu Briks tana nupeng ta wato ta maida sungulla harkan ta teling arziki na dunia gaba ki daya zamana chewa ko wana da abunda zi iya pada aji ko wana da abunda zi iya kawa wa atawka yana da kuma abunda zi bukata daga gurun wasu ba kamar yadda aka san duniya ta ke tafiya a yanzu inda ya zamana cewa wato kasashin yamma karkashin jagorancin wato amurika wato suna nuna wa duk shawaran fun karfi ya zama shi abunda su suka so yadda suka so a haka duniya za ta tafi to bris sana nufin ta karya to wayannan dokokin da aka tilasta wa shawaran kasashin duniya amma a yanzu bris da za su ci gaba da cinikayya da kasashe da suke kawance da ita da kudaden su wato da suke amfani da shi national devices in so to abunde yiki yanziki na shikara mwezua watang oktoba za hadu akazan chanka sarwasha inda za saki chiga ba aga kuma wani irin chiga ba aka samu adora kuma inda aka tsaya kukoya ya masa na tatilin arzi kike kalon shirin da kuma alpanu kasusa binka sa sheda kungi ar bris ta amun cheda su kuzama bambu binta parkon shikara mwezua dr isa abdullahi na sashi nazirin tatilin arzi ki Jami ar hashire deke kumben na jiria Ya ima na karim bayani Watu zama mumba aka kwenye rubrisa Wana abune kamar watu sabun salode ya hii deke taso wa adunia Na paa da kasuwa nchi chinakaya Karo papa chiga ba dokuma abunka sata talam aziki To wa enangkasa shi kaga kamar kasar China China tena da karupunta talang aziki watu GDP sama da trilion gomu shata kwa sina dollar amerika kuma tena da karupunjari da kuma kimia da pasaha tuwa haka abunda India tena da sama da dollar amerika trilion kuku 
a matsayin karfin arziki da kuma kimiya da fasaha ga rasha tana da sama da trillion 1.6 na dalar amurka to ga brazil da sama da trillion 1.2 a matsayin a jari da da arziki to kaga wannan waje ne wanda babban waje ne babban kasuwa ce babban yanayi ne wanda zai iya sa a samu cigabar kimiya da fasaha da kuma abin da ya shafi zuba jari da hadahadar kudi da kasuwanci da saya da siyarwa a yau idan aka samu aka ce wa'annan kasashe suna cinkayya wannan su sai kayan wa'annan wancan su sai na wa'ancin inda wani ya gaza sai su shigo da kimiya da fasaha a daga shi inda kuma ya ya kamata a sa haraji sai su yi sassauci shima farbesa ibrahim umara ya bayyana abin da yake gani a matsayin alfanu ga kasashen da ma ci gaban kungiyar ki daya alfanu ba ku kadan ba saboda kaga saudi arabia a duniya shine mai mafi girma na cirin mai albarkatun mai iran ne take binta ta mai din kuma iran tana da substantial gas ga kuma united arab emirates argentina ta can ita ma babba ne mai bin brazil ne dan kuma ana muna da egypt kaga egypt ma ta ta riga ta tashi da egypt da south africa ga kusa kusa ne ma za mu yi amuce wanda dai anan baya baya shine ethiopia amma kuma ethiopia yana da muhimmanci a fagen siyasa wannan duka yanzu an zo an hada babu sun hada a cikin kashi hudu sun dauka kashi biyu da rebi kokuwa za mu ce kashi uku na kasuwan duniya kuma banda haka in za su iya su cire kudi wanda zai hamaya da dola wanda zai hamaya da euro din babu sun mayar da duniya din wanda abin da muna cin multifola wato bangarori ba kamar ayyan da an saba ana ce komi sai amerika a je london a a nan gaba akwai bangarori kasashe masu tasowa suna da zabi su je ko amurka su je ko china su je ko russia ba kamar da bane wanda amerika ya saya da bulala sai dai ka idan sa sai dai tafarkin da sun gane yanzu wannan abu ya zo ya kire ana ji wannan yiwuwan wannan ne suka ki suna yake yake a kasashen duniya din su tabbatar sun danna sun sa mutane yanda sun ga dama amma banda kasashen da suka dauke akwai kasashen da suna so su zama membobin wayennan kungiyoyin kamar kasa na na Najeriya amma mun sani nan gaba ba zai dade ba Najeriya ma dai za a dauke shi Allah ya matakin fada da kungiyar zai bude hanya ga sauran gumman kasashe da suka nuna sha'awar shiga kungiyar BRICS a daidai lokacin da rarrabuwar kauna ta fannin bangaranci ya ingiza China da Russia wajen habaka kungiyar ta inda za ta iya gogayya da kasashen yammacin Dubai masu sauraro anan shirin zai dasa aya sai ma ko na gaba idan Allah ya kai mu Amadadin malamai da aka ji murayin su da sauran abokan aiki na sashin Hausa na Arafai ni da na shirya na kuma gabatar Ahmad Abba ke mana fatan alheri a huta lafiya 